For this session, we're going to be painting the side trees and the front bushes here, the foreground trees and bushes. And this is the part of the assignment where in almost all of the other things we've done here, we've been using tints mostly and hardly any shades. Now shade is when you add a black to a, or when you add black to a color. And we're going to be using kind of brown, green, yellow, and black to kind of make different shades of color because we want these to kind of form a border of outside and bottom dark edges so it looks like they're very far in the foreground and this other stuff that we're looking at that we've already painted is in the background. So I'm going to start with green and yellow. I'm going to make a yellowish green. Okay, And I'm going to paint yellowish green into some of the leaves on my foreground trees. So here's my foreground tree and you can see that it looks very similar to the tree color that's already there. I'm going to set this down for a second get my detail brush to work with. And you can see that it looks very similar to what's already there. Once you've painted one or two leaves and you've done a nice neat job of it, take just a little bit of black mix it in just a little bit. Don't use too much or you're going to totally kill the color and you won't see the color very nicely. And then just on one side of your leaf use that tint Okay, and paint that here on the sides and then if you need to go back later and you can go back over it with green or dark green you can redo them but just choose one side of your leaves and if you choose like I'm choosing the left side you can see on the bottom here do the left side on all of the ones on the bottom if you choose the right side do all of them on the right side be consistent with your leaves okay and that's gonna make them all look very nice and the same Okay. So there we go. And I'm gonna go back with my gonna just kind of swipe my brush off here. I'll even wash it out a little bit. And make sure you're always painting with a dry brush. You don't want any water in there. I'm gonna go back here and I'm actually gonna get some white from one of my other palettes and add this and make it a tint. And paint that on the other side here. Okay, so you can see how those leaves look different from the ones that I painted on my other trees. Okay, and that's the idea. We want these leaves to stand out and look different than the other leaves. Okay. So take your time, be neat, stay in the lines the best you possibly can can fix it later by letting it dry and painting over it but it's um, much easier if you just do a nice neat job the first time around okay so here is my Remember I'm doing the right side lightly and the left side dark, so I'm going to stick with that so all my leaves are consistent. Okay, I'm going to get my paper towel, flip it over so I have a new paper towel. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back to my shade here. And then I'm going to paint in the left side.
Okay, so there's my tree leaves in the foreground. Now I'm going to kind of set my detail brush aside for the moment and go back to my big brush and I'm going to make this shade make more of my green shade here and I'm going to use some brown in it so it's a brownish green shade you want it to be nice and dark and you're going to paint the tree in so that it's nice and dark. You do want it to be dark, a dark, dark shade. You don't want it to be black, mind you. No black, please. We only want to have a dark shade of greenish brown because we want these trees to look like they're in shadow. Okay? We don't want it to look black. We want it to look like a dark shade of a greenish brown. I'm just going to slide my paper up here, make sure you can still see it. Now this might look black on the screen, but it is actually dark green. Um, and you can come look at my real example hanging on the board during class to check it if you want. And make sure that it is a dark shade of green rather than black. Okay, and you can actually see right here when I just did that. Um, you can kind of see that greenish color there. If I tilt the paper up a little bit, you can see the greenish color. Uh, I'm going to paint right off the edge of my paper here. And now I'm going to kind of just try my best to do what I can with my big brush along in here. Until it gets too small. I'm going to switch to my detail brush then. Switch to my detail brush here. So that we have that looking like it's really coming in front of my other tree. Now if you've got time and you think you have some ability to do this, you can use your detail brush to make the stems of your leaf leaves if you can. If you can't, we can go back with a sharpie later and do it. Okay, and there's one tree in the front. We have one more tree to go here over on this other side. I'll paint that in. At this point, Mr. Longren, you could fast forward this tree.
Okay, and now I'm going to do the grass down in the front. Okay, for the grass down in front, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use more yellow in my tint shade mixture. I'm going to make a really yellowy green. Just add a little bit of black into it so it's like a green like this. And I'm actually going to just paint these in. So now I'm going to add a little variegated part on there in just a minute. If you have to get some paint on the table, that's all right. That's what the sponges are for. Now I'm going to take some white from my other palette and add some green to it, add some yellow to it, make a light green, and I'm going to use that to trace the variegated edges. around my leaves.
go back with a little bit more green. Right in the center here. of those and we'll call that done for our hen or so foreground trees and bushes it should look like this on the side move my paints out of the way it should look like these trees really dark on the side these dark on the bottom and this one dark over here on that side